Good evening, I'm Aaron Pabone. Satoru Iwata, the CEO of Nintendo of America and the president of Nintendo, passed away on Saturday, July 11th. He was 55 years old. Nintendo made the announcement and statement Monday morning. Iwata's passing is due to a bile duct growth, which he discovered and underwent treatment for in 2014. Funeral services are planned to be held on July 17th in Japan. The Nintendo company announced on various social media channels that in remembrance of Mr. Satoru Iwata, that they would not be posting on their social media channels that day. Outside of Nintendo's headquarters in Japan, the company's flags were flown at half-mast. Worldwide, there has been an outpouring of sympathy, sadness, and tributes coming from members of the gaming industry, its developers, and gamers of all ages. Iwata's history in the gaming industry comes from his youth. Born in Sapporo, Japan in 1959, Iwata began producing electronic games in high school. For his university studies, Iwata was admitted to the Tokyo Institute of Technology. There, he majored in computer science. During his university years, he freelanced for HAL Laboratory Incorporated as a programmer and would later on join HAL in a full-time position after his graduation. In 1983, Iwata became the company's coordinator of software production. He would work on game titles such as the Earthbound franchise, Balloon Fight, and the Kirby franchise. HAL Laboratory often collaborated closely with Nintendo. In 1993, HAL was on the brink of going bankrupt, and Iwata was promoted to the president of HAL that same year. At that time, he helped stabilize the company's finances. HAL would become an official member of Nintendo's development team and continues working on titles such as the Super Smash Bros. franchise. Iwata would become the head of Nintendo's corporate planning division in 2000. When Hiroshi Yamuchi, the company's president since 1949, retired in 2002, Iwata succeeded as the Nintendo's fourth president. Iwata would be the first Nintendo president who was unrelated to the Yamuchi family through bloodline or marriage since the company's founding as a playing card company in 1889. During Iwata's tenure as the president, he helped revitalize Nintendo's handheld gaming market with the development of the Nintendo DS. He also pushed for the development of motion-based games through the Wii Gaming Council. The DS and the Wii were highly successful, and the stock prices of Nintendo have grown to nearly double in the years following its release. In 2013, Iwata would also take over the role as Nintendo of America CEO from Tatsumi Kimishima. Kimishima was promoted to the managing director of Nintendo's company and serves on the board for both Nintendo of America and Nintendo Company. One of the first changes Iwata made as CEO was the decision to not hold large press conferences at Entertainment Electronic Expo or E3. Instead, Nintendo would have several smaller events with each event aimed at a certain key demographic. This year, Iwata put some focus on the growing and evolving Nintendo mobile gaming market, and even agreed to cut his yearly salary in half to support his staff as they venture into this emerging market. Over the past 10 months, the gaming community has been embroiled in various controversies. But with the passing of this great man, we must remember what we are and what he did for an industry, produce games and products for us to play games anywhere together. This may be a tall order, but I ask all of us to put aside our problems that are plaguing the industry. And for the moment, pick up our game controllers and play together. On my business card, I am a corporate president. In my mind, I am a game developer. But in my heart, I am a gamer. <laughs>